Okay, I'm going to do a quick maneuver on these data. I have five variables. We have cholesterol concentration, C-reactive protein, and systolic blood pressure. I want to know if there is a difference in these outcome measures by activity group. Okay, so in order to do that, the first thing I want to do is check to see if I have any multivariate outliers. And I need to use Mahalanobis distance. But one thing that I need to do is to be able to identify if there are any outliers, what the cases are. So I'm going to compute a variable. I'm going to call it an ID variable. What it's going to do is just give every subject an ID number. I click on all. I click on case number, or I could also just type it in. I click this up arrow and say OK, and you can see the ID number. 1 is 1, 2 is 2, etc. Okay, so we're going to go to Analyze, Regression, Linear. I'm going to put the ID variable in the dependent variable, and I'm going to make the dependent variables my independent variables. The only thing I want to do is check Save and then Mahalanobis. We're going to get a bunch of output, but we're just going to scroll down. Mahalanobis distance here is between 0.105 and 11.44. If you look at cut points with three independent variables, if you have three, the cut point is 16.27, beyond which you would have multivariate outliers. Our maximum is below that cut point, so we can say we don't have any and keep moving. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to make sure that we have linearity among the dependent variables across the levels of the independent variable. So I'm going to go to scatter dot, click matrix scatter, define it, I've already done it. Let me go, the rows are the group, and then my D DBs go in the matrix variable. I click OK, and I get this little bitty tiny graph. And so you can see that there's linearity, but that's pretty small. So if I want to do it again, I could go to data, come down to split file, organize the output by groups, click OK, go back to my scatter plot matrix and just click OK again. And it makes it a lot bigger. You get one for each activity group, high, moderate, low, and you can see better that yes, we have for the most part, linearity. Now, don't make the cardinal sin of forgetting to unsplit your file. So you say, I just went to recall dialog, split file, reset, OK. All right, so we've got the unsplit file. Now we want to check normality of the dependent variables. So I'm going to go to, I already have an explore feature here. Let me reset it. I'm going to bring my cholesterol, C-reactive protein, systolic blood pressure over as my dependent list and my groups as the factor list. I click plot, uncheck, stem and leaf, and click normality plots with tests. Click continue and click OK. And you can see within each level of the dependent variable across the levels of the independent variable, we have none that are significant. That one's close, but it's not significant. So we could say we have normality. The last thing I want to check is multi-collinearity. So I want to make sure that if I go to correlation and do my bivariate, I've already got them brought over, but let me go ahead and do it again. Cholesterol, C-reactive protein, and systolic. I'm just going to leave it at Pearson's and click OK. I can see I have 0 0.652, 0 0.429, and 0 0.380. None of those are greater than 0.9 or even close to 0.9, so we can say we don't have multicollinearity. Okay, so now we're ready for the MANOVA. I'm going to go to General Linear Model, Multivariate. I'm going to bring my group over as my fixed factor, my cholesterol, C-reactive protein, and systolic blood pressure. I could bring weight over as the covariate, but we'd be doing a MANCOVA. Right now we're just doing a MANOVA. So the first thing I want to do is check post hoc. I'm going to bring my grouping variable over. I'll pick Bonferroni. And then I want to check options. I want descriptives, estimates of effect size, and homogeneity tests. And then I'm just going to click OK. OK, so we can see we have descriptive statistics here within each dependent variable across the levels of the independent variable. We want to evaluate boxes test of equality of covariance matrices, and we can see that we don't have significance. So we do have equal variances. 
we come over here and we look at our multivariate test, let's look at the Wilkes. And yes, we do have significant differences in the dependent variables across the levels of the independent variables. We look at the Levine's test. None of these are significant. We see we have equal variances. And then within the group, we can look at each individual de dependent variable to see if they're all significant. Right now, we know the omnibus test with the Wilkes lambda is significant, but we want to make sure each of these is significant, and they are. They're all highly significant. Finally, we go to the multiple comparisons and we can tell which ones are significant in comparison to which other ones. And I, you can see that if you go down the list, most of them are. So let's just look at the ones that aren't. For the cholesterol, low and moderate, they aren't significantly different. And low and high are different. Moderate and low are the same. Moderate and high are significantly different. Within C-reactive protein, low and moderate are not, and low and high are not, and the rest are. And then with systolic blood pressure, everything is significant except for moderate and high. All right, that's how you do it.